language has been the foundation of my whole career in the sense of um, my journey began as a rapper, um, literally just expressing myself and expressing myself about my surroundings and the things that I've seen and my people. Um, I then went on to be a part of things like pirate radio and, and um, doing local shows and events, which then carried me to having a full flourishing career today and it's took me around the world and to meet lots of different people in lots of different spaces through the blessing of music and lyrics. I managed to find a way how to um, express myself verbally and, and mentally, like um, in a way that, that made people understand me and my perspective of the world and it helped me go on to do lots of other things other than music but it's just my medium of how people understand what it is that i'm about and my perspective and my surroundings um yeah i'm all about the spoken word definitely yeah i'm from birmingham grew up in birmingham i grew up in an area called quinton um which was close to another area called hell's owing which is where i went to school and my school um, and the schools in the surrounding area were very multicultural. There were multicultural melting pots of um, lots of different... I, I was a minority in, in, in my school, but so was other white kids in my school, and so was also lots of different people. So we had lots of other communities that we had to integrate with and appreciate it to, to integrate with and learn people's cultures and, and what people is about. And I think the foundation of that was through language. Um, as 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 a generation of people from all over the world, we all collectively share a language together, which is made up of Jamaican street slang, British, um, British words, traditionally as we all speak English, um, Arabic, pieces of Punjabi. Um, and we all kind of understand this language quite like fluently between us. Um, I think it's really interesting as my experience, because I think it really does represent the multicultural heritage and, and future of this country. The more languages you speak is the more tools you have generally in life in order to just um, achieve and thrive and maintain. Um, I, the, the language that I think in my brain is probably different to the language that I'm speaking to you in right now, but it's comfortable to me. Um, I think being able to understand other languages as well I mean, there's so many other, there's, there's, there's so many different kinds of language. There, there's, there's physical body language, there's, there's verbal body language. I, I, I consider um, art as a language, um, food is a language to me, but these are all different ways for us to understand each other's experiences and work out ways how to connect better. Definitely. Um, I mean, I'm massive on eubonics, do you know what I mean? I, I think we all have our own languages, we can create our own languages. Um, any word that we speak has been made up by somebody somewhere and, and it has a, I'm a strong believer um, in Rastafari, we have a principle called word, sound and power, which is the word has a sound and the sound has a power. And so it doesn't really matter, it doesn't matter the sound that you throw in, it's the intention behind the, behind the sound that you throw in. I could communicate with somebody in a language that neither of us know, but they'll be understand what it is that I'm saying by the vibration in which I throw how I position myself, body language, all these different things. Um, so yeah, I think creativity is based on language and all creativity is different forms of language. As a musician, I have a lot of fans and around the world in different spaces, people that listen to my music that might not necessarily speak my language, but they understand the, they understand the connotation, they understand the, um, the intention, they understand what it's about, the music, where where the understanding of the words may fail them, the musical backdrop may fill in the gaps for them. So I don't think you need to know a lot of a language for it to be effective. Man, when I was in school, I never understood the value of languages at the time. It was, languages was like a time for me to relax and mess around in class. And, and I, as a big man, I really do regret it now, do you know what I mean? And I've, I've spent a lot of effort um, right now to, to learn languages, it, it's so useful. Languages are useful in business, languages are useful in, in friendship, they're useful in love, they're useful in creation, they're useful in everything. And I think, as I said, in this modern world that we're moving into and us all um, connecting globally um, much more easily, it will only be more resourceful for you to learn as many languages that you possibly can, to connect with as many people as you can. When I was a really young kid, um, my dad bought me a, it was a gold chain with a pendant of Africa on it. 
and it had the word Imani on there. And I never understood. And I always have a cousin called Imani, this, this, this word Imani. And I never understood what this word Imani meant until later on in my life when I heard the word again. And Imani is a Swahili word for faith. And for me, it's one of my favorite words. I think I just I like how I'm a proper words per. I like how it tastes. I like how it rolls off the tongue. And I, and I like what the word means. And yeah, it's Imani, faith. Yeah.